right, so today, um, just started messing with the whole T4 kit, and I didn't get to record much because it's a lot, it's just about impossible for me to do that, it's my first time doing this kit. Um, the first big thing before you do any of this that you see here, and that I didn't even know till today, <coughs> till today, <coughs> I'm sorry about that, till today, uh, um, is that there is a plug. It's kind of like a freeze plug. It's really soft plug right there it's on the uh, Super Duty models of the 7.3. Um, I'll show you it. This is actually the plug that I'm talking about. And it has to be removed. There's no option. This must be removed to do the whole T4 kit. Uh, so what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do um, is first, obviously, you're going to need to clean it up. These engines are like 20 years old. So it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of scale and flaky rust on it. Clean that all up. Um, you want to really make sure you know what part is being removed and what part stays. Um, so then you want to, well, what I did anyways, is I punctured a hole in it. Um, get that hole big enough to get a screw in it. You don't want to drill because drill autom drilling automatically gets uh metal shavings inside your engine uh so once you have the little hole we uh thread this pretty big screw in it i say little hole uh, you can obviously tell that hole eventually got pretty big you'll see it it gets big after messing with it um we then tied a piece of wire uh to the head of this screw and yanked and yanked and yanked it eventually came out. You may need some tapping on the outside of it initially, but the whole big thing is to make sure that this does not, I don't even want to get near that hole, um, that this does not go through that hole because that goes straight into the block. It's an oil drain. That's what that hole, the whole purpose is, the whole purpose of that is to re, um, relocate your oil drain because the original one, um, you see, this is the oil feed here. The oil drain, the original oil drains right here. You're no longer using that. Um, you're just using, this is the new drain. So that's the whole relocation thing. You gotta pull that plug. Um, it seems impossible at first. These engines are so old. <laughs> seems impossible to do, but we actually did it. Pretty proud about that. Then got the first pedestal on here. Um, bolted it down, then put the oil feed fitting on here with some Teflon tape. Uh, so we got that on there, a little snug. Um, next step that I did, I'm just doing it step by the exact steps that I just did, um, is I just very loosely put these three bolts in just to hold this, this plate up, which this is the, um, up pipe mount plate. Um, once it's snug on there. I also, um, I just started these two bolts, which go into, uh, the up pipe. It's what mounts it onto this plate, um, just so that it stays in place up here. That way, just everything is staying in place up here now. That way I don't have to like hold it up while I'm messing with this side, which would be sandwiching it over the, um, manifolds. So you can see that nice fitment there. Got the new supplied uh, bolt and nut on, tying them up on both sides, as you can see. Um, super nice install outside of the truck. It's a very nice install. Uh, once those are tightened, you can then tighten these two <coughs> and tighten these three uh, down, and you're good to go. So, out of the truck, it's really nice. Really nice install. I mean, just look at them. Those are some nice, nice pieces. Um, if you're doing this with an engine in the truck, I really wish you luck. I definitely don't suggest that. Just from, I can't imagine the pain. I mean, this is just, yeah. So I'm gonna stop there today. I still can't really mess with it anymore because my the cover to my turbo is still at powder. So I have to pick that up soon, and then once I get the turbo here, that's when I can really start messing with everything else. Also, I need to put these uh, plenums on too before I start really 
doing anything else that would cover that up. So for now, I'm gonna cover that hole. Then once I get everything back, I'm gonna get back with you guys on what I'll be doing next. But it's uh, so far, I'm impressed. <laughs> Like, just, I was already impressed that you had to mess with, like, re literally relocating your oil drain. Um, definitely not something that all, not a lot of people do that 273. So, really cool and interesting uh, how this whole system works. So, I'll definitely get back with you guys as I keep going. And, uh, yeah, taking it step by step. It's very, it's a really interesting kit with not a lot of instructions, so. I really gotta use your head. <laughs> so next up what I'm doing is I'm taking the big injectors out of the old engine so I can put some new O-rings on them and put them in the new engine. So that's what I'll be doing now, and I'll catch up with you guys. Right, so guys, right off the bat, you can probably tell um, a lot is different um, on the engine right now <laughs> than the last clip that I showed you guys. And I really do apologize. I want to give a quick explanation. To, I mean, everything with the whole truck, because you're going to see a lot of like, crazy jumps from the last time I've, I've recorded. Um, because the truck's right behind me, and it's a lot different than the last time I showed a video of that truck. But right now, this is just the engine portion, so I'm just going to stick with the engine. Anyways, the last clip I showed you, I just put that pedestal on. Um, turn into the turbo. I didn't show you any powder coat yet, so this is probably right in your face. Actually, I'm going to put a little sneak peek probably in before this. Um, but I had the up pipes on. That's it. Anyways, um, I had to stop there at that moment because everything was at powder coat. Um which was about an hour away from where I live. So I really couldn't do anything else. I was waiting on these plenums because I couldn't do anything until these plenums were on because obviously they're on the bottom of everything. Uh, so got them on, let me put my flashlight on. So uh, this is gonna help you really see how nice that blue is. This is actually Illusion Blueberry. Um, but anyways, I got these plenums on with the Ford uh, RTV. It's this stuff. Right here, it's special from Ford, and I heard that's the only stuff you should be using for this, so that's what I went with without taking any risks. Um, that was pretty cool. It was a cool uh, experience process, you know. It's um, you know how these slide in on that bolt right down there, it's just interesting. But those went on really smoothly, all 10 bolts, um, torqued them down evenly. Uh, once the plenums were on, I started fitting this turbo here um, and again you haven't really seen it like this at all because it was at it's been at powder so like really all i could have shown you was like the bare bones of this turbo which isn't really any fun but this is the turbo it's our s369 board warner um got the i sent this compressor housing off to powder coat i got it back bolted it back up to the whole section bolted the exhaust side up to it so that i could test fit this um so put these studs and uh, the up pipes, got it on there, got these pretty snug down though, so you can see where it is. And what you want to do is you want to basically loosen the clamps on each side. That way you can spin every single part of the turbo. So you can spin the middle section by itself, this by itself, or this by itself, depending on what you tighten. Um, and what you want to do is you want to first align the center once everything is loose so that your top um, oil feed is just about at 90 degrees, just about straight up, which this is pretty good. That's gotta be like 90 degrees. Um, and um, really what's gonna determine where that lies is your oil drain. This is actually a very interesting setup. Um, as I showed you earlier in this clip, uh, earlier in this video, um, you gotta take off that, take out that soft plug for this different oil drain. This is the i rate kit. That's at least what you have to do for the i rate kit. I know different kits are different, but, um, you get this bottom piece in, right? And that goes into that hole. And then it's a very interesting, it has a, it comes with a straight. So you put this, I'd say it's a 45 degree fitting, as you can see right there, that elbow, which goes into the bottom of the center section of the turbo. You screw that in so it's at the correct angle that you want to, it's a, it's a kinda, I can't like explain to you, 
It's got to be at the right angle so that it aligns nicely with this and that they'll both um, thread together. So um, once I had that all test fitted, I actually, what I'm going to do, because I'm not putting the engine in with this turbo on it, obviously it would get damaged, be a pain to fit, this and that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out as one piece, including like, I'm not even going to unthread this. I'm going to take this out of the uh, block, but that's it. It's going to stay on this. That way everything's where it needs to be. And I really shouldn't be messing with it um, while it's in the truck. It should hopefully be bolt on because um, I'll just have to put, put these four nuts on. Um, next up was making sure that this was at the right angle where the... Um, I believe the intercooler pipe just goes straight into onto this, so this is where the intercooler pipe would go, I believe so. Um, so this is uh, what I've read is supposed to be about a 45 degree angle. Also, pictures really show you the general area of where this should be. Um, I did take an angle thing and I uh, made sure this was at 45 degrees. Um, it said 45, so I'm gonna stick with that. And even if it wasn't perfect, all you have to do is loosen these clamps and spin it whichever way when it's in the truck. So hopefully I won't have to do that, but if that's the case, I'll just do that. Uh, as you can see, that engine is out. I know this is probably crazy. I'm, I'm going to get into that in a different video. That engine's out, which was in my truck. Uh, that'll be for a whole different video to catch you guys up on that. But I took the big injectors out of that, which I needed. Um, took the big injectors out of that. Did install them into this, which I will show you in a minute when I put these valve covers on, the new ones. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun, so once you guys see those valve covers, it's really going to come to life. But I put those big injectors in, put the old glow plugs that came with this back in it. They have about 90,000 miles on it. Hopefully they're alright. They look pretty clean. I put new O-rings on those big injectors, installed them in. They're fully torqued and everything. I'm also using the gaskets off of that one and I'm only using those because I know they work with it whereas if I use these I'm not 100% sure I've never seen this engine run I'd rather play it safe so I took those valve covers off that put them on this um so yeah injectors are fully in the big injectors 205cc 100% nozzles so that's the kind of the setup we'll be running is 205cc 100% with S uh, T4 S369 so it should be pretty rowdy um Next up, what I did, I mean, I've, it's, it's really hard to catch you guys up, I've done, I, uh, again, once that engine was out, I was able to take the harness off of it to put it on this one, and again, I know this harness works, I've used it, so I'm not going to take any risks by using that one that came with it, um, so I just took the one off my engine, put it on, I know it works, that way I can sleep at night, um, Got it. In, it's probably plugged into everything besides these two spider pl uh, plugs. I know I won't be using one of them, but one of them will go into the spider. And again, that won't be done until this engine's in the truck. I'm not putting that spider on until the engine's in. Um, had to get brand new fuel lines recently. That was such a pain. Um, as always, around the bottom here, even if you have the proper tool, I have the proper tool. They were just so corroded and, you know, I don't, they just crudded up. That even when you put the tool in, they don't separate. They literally won't separate. So, I mean, very annoying. What ends up happening is they just snap right at the bottom flush with the line. So, that's my next step. Skin the, the piece that snapped out of the lines that are still on the truck. Those are even more expensive. But these were got me for a hundred bucks. Um, I ran them through the right way, which is <laughs> actually really interesting. They're pretty snug. With the block, so I had to take this. Uh, <coughs> had to take this bracket off to do that. Um, but anyways, they're in. That's out of the way. <laughs> I'm so done with fuel lines, but <coughs> yeah. Um, this bolted on pretty nicely. Um, it's cool because when you do, if I, if you are swapping just your harnesses, this all comes together. Like you don't even have to touch these. Just take it off the bracket, and it'll come off with the harness. So just a little tip. Uh, this alternator is off that engine, because I, I mean it's a year old, so using this, it's fairly new. As you can see, like I barely even cleaned it, and it's this clean. It's a very new alternator. Um, another thing I took off that is the water pump and fan. 
The water pump as well is a year old. That's why, that's why I'm reusing this stuff, guys. It's pretty new stuff. It also had this new, this nice sinister diesel billet, uh, there was the housing on it, which you need because the rusty ones leak all the time. I had a rusty one on this before, would not stop leaking no matter what. So, what with the bullet billet one, never had a problem again. Um, fans on it. Uh, but, I mean, from the looks of it now, you can really see it's just about together. So, pretty much what I'm going to do next. Um, I know I'm probably forgetting a bunch that I that I really, that I did. Um, this is the last time I recorded, but really what I have to do is clean up this AC compressor. That's going to get painted since this is the only piece that's not brand new that I will be using. Um, get it cleaned up. Um, and we're gonna throw this on. But other than that, this is how it's gonna go into the, uh, it's gonna go into the truck. 95,000 mile block, so. Super excited, it's, it's really flowing. Really, really well, look at that turbo. <laughs> uh, wait till you guys see this thing with the valve covers on, which I'll be showing you guys next, so. Stay tuned. Um, yeah. All right guys, so I just want to show you the injectors in. I'm um, just show you that it is done. These are the 205 cc uh, full force diesel in uh, injectors. They're 100% nozzles on them. Got them fully in with oil deflectors on. Torque down to spec. Um, pretty nice install when it's uh, when you're outside of the truck and it's just the engine here, but also got all glow plugs in. Um, the wiring harness is already connected to all this stuff, so got those in. Um, under the valve cover, honestly, it's it's clean under here. No no sludge or anything. Go to the other side just to show you this. But uh, they're in. Um, we've come to a pretty nice point. Um, on this engine, so I mean, it's. I remember when I was just thinking about this, this stuff, but glow plugs in. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna grab those really nice Illusion Blue valve covers. We're gonna throw them on, and that'll probably be the end of this engine video. So, I figured I'd give you guys a nice ending. <laughs> All right, guys, and bang, just like that. They're on, and I, it's honestly, I can't even believe how good they look. Like, this video still isn't giving it justice. Um, got all the bolts on. These are studs, but oh my god. Look, you see the color. And if you have that as the valve covers, I mean, this gives it no justice. You could never get the right angle for them to see them both at the same time, but my god. Do they look so good. <laughs> it's uh, pretty crazy. I'm trying to get the right angle for you guys. I mean, that's a decent angle to kind of get the idea. Um, but with that, with that Ford gray too, there, there you can see the kind of color combination. They just look so good. And I honestly do think the gray, that Ford gray with the, with that illusion blueberry. Great color combination. Uh, don't regret that at all. Wow. Look at that. There you go. With that turbo. <laughs> Crazy, honestly crazy. I can't even words can't really explain just how crazy this is in my opinion. Um, not. <laughs> uh, I could really just show you guys them all day, but they look great. Um, so I, I got them. You know, the the torque spec on these is like eight foot pounds, so I really just want to get them snug. Uh. These are studs, put the nuts on them. That went all that all went fine. I mean this is also a stud. Get the nut on it. Those two studs and we're good to go. So 
Don't, I honestly don't even think I'll be taking these covers off again. It, it's just so crazy how that's, I'm, that's over pretty much. But <clears throat> I'm going to continue staring at it for a couple more minutes. Thank you guys for watching this part of the engine. I mean, the engine build's just about come to an end. It's, that's so sad to say. I can't even believe that. Uh, there's definitely some more things. I'm just gonna get, have to get this compressor on, and after that, I mean, it's just like fuel filter and stuff, but amazing. Um, I'll definitely be showing you guys once it's in the engine, like how to get the spider on and stuff, but that the engine part of this is done. I'm now gonna start making videos on what we've done to the truck, a little sneak peek. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and all that. Um, subscribe also, and thank you guys, yeah, thanks for watching again.